This is why dogs follow you into the bathroom and other weird but adorable dog habits explained. The bond between dog and owner is certainly one of a kind. Having a loyal pup in the household ensures an incredible amount of love from dog to owner in a man's best friend fashion. Although you may not think so, it's actually fairly easy to understand what your pup is asking of you. Some dogs are incredibly obvious when they want delightful bits of love and kisses, but some dogs can behave in a subtle manner as well. Unfortunately, we can't physically speak to our dogs, but here are some signs your dog makes and their translation. Dogs communicate to you through eye contact. Dogs communicate in subtle ways with their faces, specifically with their eyes. Constant eye contact from your dog is his way of showing his trust and affection towards you. Think of it as an understated, I love you. Avoiding eye contact, on the other hand, is a sign that your dog is uncomfortable, scared or cowering after doing something naughty. Your dog's tail can tell you their emotions. Perhaps the most widely recognized ways dogs communicate to others is with their tails. In addition to the joyful wagging tail, a dog's tail can communicate a range of other emotions. For example, a slow wagging tail means your dog is feeling cautious, and a stiff tail held high means your dog is on alert. A low tail means your pup is feeling content, but a tucked tail means he's feeling scared. If your dog is wagging his tail vigorously enough to make his butt wiggle, we all know what I'm talking about here, he's absolutely elated to see you. Your dog can also use his tail to spread his scent. Alpha male dogs hold their tails high when marking their territory. By being able to hold their tail high, your dog can release more of a scent from his anal glands. At the same time, if your dog is scared or feels threatened, he'll tuck his tail between his legs so as to not release any scent. He may also use his tail as a fan to spread his scent into the air. When he flicks his tongue, he probably knows you're about to scold him. You'll notice your dog flicking his tongue quickly in and out of his mouth when you're about to scold him. This means your dog knows he's done something naughty and he feels bad about it. If your dog flicks its tongue at you, it's his way of telling you that he's sorry. Excessive sneezing and yawning can mean that your dog is stressed. Dogs sometimes try to communicate with us by sneezing and yawning unnecessarily. A misplaced sneeze or yawn means that your dog is uncomfortable and stressed, often around new pets or people. Believe it or not, humans do this when they feel uncomfortable too. This can get confusing because dogs also yawn when they're feeling content around you. The key is to look for misplaced yawning in unfamiliar circumstances. Belly exposure means your dog feels comfortable. In addition to face and tail movement, dogs also try to communicate using the rest of their body. If your pup rolls over and bares his belly to you, he's initiating this gesture to appease you, but a belly rub is always welcome. Dogs also communicate with each other this way, rolling over a sign of passive resistance to the perceived threat. Your dog's nose is like his fingerprint. All of our doggy pals are special, and this fact just proves that even more. Their nose print is actually unique to each dog, and it can be used to identify them, just like fingerprints on humans. The ridges on dogs' noses form patterns that set them aside from other dogs in the past, present, or future. Each one has his own unique mark. Dogs don't really chew if they can swallow it whole because they don't have to. If your dog can just swallow the food, they usually will instead of chewing. Dog saliva, unlike humans, doesn't contain any digestive enzymes, meaning their saliva works mainly as a lubricant that can help food pass through their esophagus easily into the stomach, where the digestion really starts. Their saliva also contains chemicals with antibacterial properties, which can help and assist in healing superficial wounds. Although its power is limited and visits to the vet are necessary, it explains why many dogs have tower cones around their heads. The pups just can't help themselves from trying to help their wounds heal. This bow means your dog wants to play. If your dog faces you and dives into a bow with his front legs on the ground and his butt in the air, this is known as the play bow and it's your dog's way of telling you that it's playtime. If you want to make your dog stay, try playing bow back at him. Your basic downward dog yoga pose will do the trick and your pup will be grateful that you're trying to speak his language. Raising a paw means they want attention. Dogs communicate that they want attention by raising a paw and touching you. 
you probably see this most often when you're sitting and your dog approaches you to put a paw on your knee in puppies this is communicated by pawing the air repeatedly if they freeze mid play it means they're uncertain have you ever approached your dog with a bone and noticed the way he suddenly freezes mid chew upon noticing you freezing in the middle of an action is a clear way dogs communicate that they're feeling uncertain and want to be left alone if your dog freezes mid chew or in the middle of another action it's best to honor his wishes and give him some space sometimes when they bring you things it's meant to be a gift every once in a while your dog might bring you a ball a stick or another toy most people read this as an invitation to play which it very well might be but if your dog brings you one of his favorite toys and drops it at your feet it's more likely he's giving it to you as a gift this is your pup's way of showing affection for you by sharing his favorite things with you tail chasing can indicate a problem we all love to watch our dog chase his tail in circles from time to time let's face it this can be fun for a few minutes but the reality is that constant tail chasing can be an indication of a deeper problem such as OCD that's right your dog can suffer from an obsessive compulsive disorder which may be treatable by your vet your dog's tail is trying to tell you something have you ever noticed that your dog wags his tail in different directions experts agree that if your dog is wagging his tail to the right he's happy or relaxed but on the other hand if he's wagging his tail to the left he may be feeling anxious nervous or threatened as humans noticing these subtle messages can be hard but you can bet other dogs understand them clearly tails help keep your dog balanced animal experts believe that the tail evolved as a way to help dogs keep their balance when walking along narrow ledges or paths while they may no longer need this type of assistance that tail has found numerous other uses tail wagging is surprisingly a learned behavior Dogs do not start wagging their tails the minute they're born. It's a skill they need to learn Most puppies will start wagging their tail around one and a half months after they're born as they try to communicate with their siblings and their mother The dog's tail is an extension of his spine meaning they can injure their tails Your dog's tail is literally an external extension of the spine. It has its own discs muscles and anchors being more exposed than the remainder of the spine the tail is far more susceptible to injury but in most cases will recover fully many people believe hair from a dog could cure rabies we've all heard the term hair of the dog but did you know that this phrase was coined in approximately 23 AD Roman naturalist and author Pliny the elder was said to believe that the best way to cure rabies was to take the ashes from the burnt tail hairs of the dog responsible for the bite and rub them in the wound following you around means they're attached to you of course a dog that follows you around for every step you take isn't completely ideal especially in more private places like the bathroom but you can't deny that it's completely adorable according to vets this type of behavior is simply because it's a dog's instinct to always do things with your family cue the Oz licking your body or face means they're easing their stress well some people love it others might find it completely gross it's a sure thing to say that dogs like giving people a couple clicks every once in a while what you probably don't know is that giving licks is actually a form of submissive behavior and it helps dogs in easing their stress while also showing you some love of course dogs can sense when something is wrong dogs don't need to physically speak to their owners to sense that something's wrong or if you're upset Dogs are also incredibly good at reading body language and will also use their senses to detect if something's wrong They'll also probably be more than willing to console you if you're feeling down If your dog is obsessed with your socks, it means he misses you One thing is turning an old tube sock into a tug-of-war toy But when your pup starts stealing all your socks, it can eventually turn into a problem This actually has a very simple explanation your socks carry a stronger scent than the rest of your clothes usually of sweat and yes to a dog's nose everyone's feet smell Many countries have outlawed tail docking While many breeders and owners in the u.s. Have their dogs tails docked there are many countries around the world such as Australia Austria Canada Finland Greece Norway and Turkey 
that have outlawed the practice Going crazy after a bath is them releasing stress So you give your dog a bath and he cooperates because he's a good boy But as soon as you're done drying him off he takes off soon He's running around the house like the speed of light and you're amazed there are two possible explanations for this one is that although your dog is good during bath time it's still a stressful experience for him by running around it gives him a way to release the stress another reason why they run around is to get the stink of the bath off dogs don't really like the clean smell of soap and so running around might get the smell off them walking in a circle before laying down is a behavior adopted from their ancestors very often dogs walk in circles before setting down for a deep sleep this behavior is actually hardwired in them from prehistoric times your pups wild dog ancestors would walk around in circles to make a nest Which was an area with stomp down grass or underbrush where they could sleep by doing this It also drives out snakes or large insects that might have bothered them Going to the bathroom along a north-south axis is instinctual Dogs aren't just particular about their nets, but they also like to go number two while being aligned with the north-south axis of the Earth's magnetic field Researchers were able to prove this by doing a study involving 57 different breeds and they're unsure how the dogs are able to sense the magnetic field or why they have such a specific position Jumping on you is actually a sign of dominance Although it may seem like play behavior or an enthusiastic greeting Jumping up on you is actually a sign that your dog is trying to assert their dominance over you by encouraging this behavior with affection You're reinforcing the behavior Eating poop can be a sign that there's a problem Yes, one of the grossest things a dog can do eating poop or in more specific terms Coprophagia is actually a common habit amongst dogs. We may never fully understand why so many dogs enjoy eating feces There are many theories that include it being a sign of illness or malnutrition or it's the effect of anxiety and stress or a form of pica While this habit isn't really dangerous to dogs. It's quite disgusting and not exactly healthy Specific training can help you break this habit Leaning on you means they just want to be close to you Does your dog constantly lean on you many dogs like to lean on their owners legs feet or bodies? This seems especially true in the giant dog breeds the reason for this is simple your dog wants to be closer to you a Less common reason for doing this may be a sign of fear or insecurity Leaning may also be related to separation anxiety which will show through other signs if you leave your dog alone Dogs pant to cool themselves down Panting is a completely normal doggy behavior. However, what's the reason for it? Dogs pant mostly to cool themselves off because they don't sweat the way humans do dogs have to rely on the exchange of air at their mouths to cool their bodies off To assist them we should do our best to keep our dogs cool preventing heat exhaustion and heat stroke some dogs can pant due to anxiety, stress, or fear. Removing your dog from the situation is the best action you can take. Looking in the mirror is normal. Does your dog look or bark at his reflection? This behavior is completely normal when you think about it. There's a moving, odorless dog that appears in the house. It's probably about as scary as him seeing a ghost. Many dogs eventually learn to ignore the weird specter. Fear is a complex emotion for dogs Does the sight of the vacuum cleaner send your dog running and hiding do they run from cars or the dishwasher or maybe even a slippery floor? You might try to reason their fear with them, but for many dogs ordinary objects can cause a fright for them Fear is a very complex thing for them some dogs develop fears after bad experiences while others develop fears after lack of exposure fears can also be made worse by the dog's owner if a dog's afraid whenever the dishwasher starts and the owner either reprimands the dog or is overly consoling to him The fear can be reinforced This is why early socialization and exposure is important to help a dog develop a confident personality Digging is deep in their DNA Digging is an extinctual activity and it's written incredibly deep in a dog's DNA It's also especially strong in terrier breeds Dogs in natural packs will dig to hide food or to try and uncover food like small rodents a Den dug in the cool earth can also provide shelter from the heat Head tilting means they're interested 
strange noises speaking in an unfamiliar tone or even whistling can lead to your dog doing this cute pose the science behind it is simple your dog's very sensitive hearing is picking something different they're interested in figuring out what the noise is and how to make sense of it biting is used as a form of communication puppies nip at their owners while they learn to communicate with their pet parents it usually happens while they're playing since young dogs often communicate with their mouths in order to interact it may also happen during training or for perhaps no reason you can identify if your young pup is a regular nipper it's important to stop it before it develops into a more problematic dog behavior down the line dogs usually bite due to anxiety fear or aggression try to identify which mood is motivating your pet to bite crotch sniffing helps your dog get to know you oh the dreaded and embarrassing crotch sniffing however understanding the cause of the behavior will help you realize that your dog isn't trying to be rude if you've seen two dogs meet for the first time you know that a dog's version of greeting is sniffing each other's genital areas and rear ends in dogs these areas contain scent glands that provide information about the dog like their gender and health humans also have scent glands that offer clues about who they are hence a dog is just sniffing around in order to get to know the person the behavior isn't harmful but can be annoying the best way to train your dog to stop is by rewarding them for sitting still when a guest arrives rather than going in for a sniff 